Good morning, fifth grade. Today we're in chapter three, lesson 13 on page 233, problem solving investigation. The strategy is to determine extra or missing information. Kayla was collecting book orders. The cost of each book is $3. There were seven orders on Wednesday, five orders on Thursday, and more orders on Friday and Monday. How many book orders were collected altogether? Okay, so it's saying, what facts do we know? When you're solving a word problem, you're not necessarily going to write out separately what, you, what facts you have, but you might, and you should, either highlight or underline. So let's look at what facts we have. We have that the cost of a book is $3. We have that there were seven orders on Wednesday and five orders on Thursday. It also has here that there were more orders on Friday and Monday, but we do not know how many. And our question is asking us how many book orders were collected altogether. Okay, so let's look at what facts we know. We know that the cost of a book is $3 and the number of book orders on Wednesday was seven and Thursday was five. What do you need to find? I need to find the total number of book orders. Determine if there is extra or missing information. Well, if our question is asking us, how many book orders were collected altogether, the cost of each book is irrelevant. All right, so I'm actually going to whoop, take this highlight off, All right? We don't need to know the cost of the book in order to determine how many book orders were collected. But the problem is that we do not know how many orders were collected on Friday and Monday, and we don't know the total. And without knowing what book orders there are on Friday and Monday, we do not have enough information to solve the problem. We are missing crucial information to solve the problem. Therefore, when you look at step number three, it says some information is missing. So I cannot solve the problem. Let's take a look at the next example. Rocco is slicing a loaf of Italian bread for dinner. The bread costs $4. He cuts the loaf into slices that are one inch thick. If the loaf is 18 inches long, how many pieces of bread did he cut? What facts do we know? We know that the bread costs $4. We know that he cuts the loaf into slices that are one inch thick and that the loaf is 18 inches long. And what do we need to find? We need to find how many pieces of bread did Rocco cut? Let's go to step two. Plan. So first, determine if there is extra or missing information. If we're trying to determine how many pieces of bread he cut, the cost of the bread is not needed. Looking at the rest of that problem, if I know that the loaf is 18 inches long and that he cuts the loaf into one inch slices, then I can solve how many pieces of bread he cut. Let's go to step three. To solve, we're going to divide the length of the loaf by the thickness of each slice to determine the slices of bread cut, the pieces of bread cut. So we know that the length of the loaf is 18. And we know that he cuts the loaf into slices that are one inch thick. So there will be 18 pieces. So Rocco cut 18 pieces of bread. Let's go to step four, check our work. Is my answer reasonable? 
Well, this particular problem is a division problem. So how do we check a division problem? We multiply. That concludes your direct instruction for today. Go on to page 235 and work on applying this strategy of extra and missing information in your word problems. Have a great day, see you soon.